sort of background is I really enjoyed making things, model aeroplanes when I was a bit younger. And it was quite recently, about eight months ago, that I discovered CNC machines and so began the, 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 the journey towards creating this chess set. I, I began using uh, my little 3018 CNC machine um, and just car started carving general reliefs and uh, it also had a, a little laser attachment which I, I played with. Um, and then a, a, as my confidence grew, I, I sort of used the internet uh, and I, I just came across Carveco and, and I, I gradually started to use uh, a lot more of the software then, um, creating sort of text and uh, reliefs. But not long after that, my stepdaughter asked if I could make a, a chess set. Uh, and I said, well, that's impossible because I can only carve in one direction down onto a, a piece of wood. But with a little bit of afterthought, I thought, well, if I could rotate the wood 90 degrees, I could carve the side and then rotate it again and carve the rear of uh, the figures. And so began the journey of making the chess set um, and Carveco obviously came into that and sort of helped uh, tremendously. Without Carveco uh, software, I couldn't have made this at all. The actual way that I got to this was by looking to see if it was possible to carve a 3D figure. But I saw a wonderful uh, sort of video explaining how this could be done. And I, I sort of copied that to a, a great degree. Um, but altering things along, along the way as I went. The material that I chose for this was the sort of cheapest wood that I could find. So th these are made from pine. My local hardware store sold um, wooden spindles which happened to be square um, and, f and fitted the brief that I, I needed to, to fit the 3018 machine. The process involved just by understanding the limitations of the 3018 machine in so much as this, uh, uh, that there's only 45 millimetres of travel on the spindle. So making sure that the spindle depth was deep enough to carve halfway through the figure. I don't think the size of the machine um, is a particular issue. Um, I've done this on a 3018 CNC machine. It could be quite easily be done on a, a thousand by a thousand machine. And as I say, once the uh, I understood the limitations of the machine, um, and of course the sort of wood that I was going to carve it into, um, I, I would then set it up in Carveco, starting as um, selecting the workspace, which would be the same size as the the block of wood that I was going to carve into and then importing 3D STL file. Um, and at this stage, this, was, this is very important, you get the paste 3D window come up and this window is where all the magic happens because you can then alter the size of the relief in relation to the piece of wood or the, the model space that you've got. Uh, you can rotate uh, the 3D model and then lay it down onto the, the workspace and then, for instance, uh, for ease of an explanation, is if, if you lay the, the model halfway through the workspace um, and then press paste and then save that and then undo the paste, you can then revolve the 3D model through another 90 degrees, um, repeat the process and then save the model with a different name and, and then move on to the next one. Um, which is important to leave the paste 3D window open until all four faces have been, have been done. Um, then you could close the uh, 3D paste window and move on to the tool paths. One, one side worked out um, how to manipulate the 3D STL file um, within the 3D paste window. Um, it became sort of easier the more that I did. The theme of the, of the chess set was just one that happened to be there. There are, of course, hundreds of chess sets out there on the internet. This one was free to download. And I, I just loved the, 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 the theme of, uh, of the Egyptian figures. I, I really do think it's a learning curve, whereby you start out carving 2D um, and 
if you're like me, you're quite amazed at what you've managed to um, produce. Um, and then you want to improve on that and make sort of better carvings. Um, and also try experimentation, try something new. For instance, making the, uh, the board uh, beneath the, the plastic is a, a, a grid made up of 20 by 6 millimetre wood. Uh, and I needed to cut slots in this. So again, I used Carveco to set up the tool paths so as I could carve this to form a grid and everything just clicks together. So that was a learning process um, for me in this case. In making of the board, there were several obstacles for me to overcome with the limitations of my 3018 CNC machine. I couldn't get the whole of the board under, on the bed of the 3018 so I had to rotate it to 45 degrees and carve everything at 45 degrees but do it in quarters due to the limitations of my little machine. But I found it really uh, exciting with the 30AC machine that with a little bit of imagination um, you, you can do such, such a lot with it. Um, it, it. It's a fantastic little machine, I'm thrilled to bits with it. The LEDs is, uh, I, I sort of dabbled a little bit with LED lights, uh, I, I, I'm just amazed with the LED lights. My original intention was to just have the board lit, completely lit with LEDs and then I sort of worked on the premise that if, if I could light the whole board then I could light each individual square and then with sort of uh, trial and error I, I sort of found that by, by using reed switches under each square and a magnet in the bottom of each figure um, which operates that. So that's how I came up with the idea. The, the, there was a fair bit of help um, that, that I needed um, to find out how, how to do things. Um, the Carveco forum uh, was excellent. A couple of times I was just a little bit off with the, the centering which makes the, uh, the carving to, uh, come out to one side or the other. So I, I reasoned that I needed to put the origin point onto the piece of wood itself, but I wanted it in the centre of the piece of wood. Um, and by asking the questions on the forum, I found that within Carveco, um, the origin point can be set to wherever you want it using the, the cursor. To make the whole chest set um, was about eight weeks. Um, but that wasn't continual carving by any means. This was obviously looking at Carveco Maker, uh, finding out uh, new things every time I looked at it uh, and uh, working out what did what and everything. Um, but once I'd set everything up, it, it was a matter of repetition. Once I'd worked out how to do the one pawn, uh, 15 more to go. Uh, and I, I could carve on my little machine and finish um, two pawns in a day. The favourite piece for me to carve it was, was the knight, which was the first one that I did. I put two little glass eyes, they looked like diamonds. Um, and I was thrilled with this one because that was the first one I saw coming off the machine. And to which I went, wow, you know, that's, uh, that's how it looked. 